This video is all about tropical storms. So in particular, we're thinking about hurricanes, which affect the, the Atlantic, cyclones, which affect the Indian Ocean, uh, typhoons, which affect the Asian Pacific. They're all different names for exactly the same thing. They're all tropical storms. OK, they occur as a result of particular physical conditions, which we'll have a look at now. Uh, so you can see a distribution map there. The yellow areas all represent sea temperatures going above 27 degrees Celsius, which is a key background physical condition for a tropical storm to form or a hurricane and that's why they tend to occur between these two lines here the tropics of cancer and capricorn some do spill out in, in slightly shallower ocean waters um, so we do get them slightly outside of that band but that's really the restricted area and the sea temperature has to be heated to quite significant depth as well um, there's the most tropical storms that we get are across in the asian pacific you know, we get quite a significant number in Asia um, and a significant number in the in the Atlantic there as well. OK, so in terms of the structure of a hurricane, it's made up of spiral bands of thunderstorms above that warm ocean water of 27 degrees. We get an anvil of cumulonimbus clouds. We get warm upwelling air that rushes in from higher pressure areas outside of the storm into the lower pressure areas. And then when it hits the tropopause, it spreads out. Um, across to create an anvil of cumulonimbus clouds. Now the, the motion of air is, is corkscrew within the, the eye wall and that's where the wind speeds are at their fastest and you also get some sinking air there into that into that eye and you can see the eye up here on the line of the cross section you can see the eye in the centre there the whole storm spins around around that due to the Coriolis force okay so in terms of um, how they're created, we'll just rattle through those animations. The sun sends incoming radiation in, that warms our oceans. At least 26, 27 degrees Celsius. That causes warm, moist air to rise through the air. That cools as it rises, causing condensation to occur and clouds to form. So we get all the cloud droplets. Some cooled air sinks back down, helping to create the eye. And as I said earlier, the air rushes in from outside of the storm, creating the very strong winds that we get in them. And then the whole thing spins because of the Earth's spin. OK, last little sort of information bit. Um, the tropical storms are measured on the Safia Simpson scale. Um, and as the um, wind speed goes up, the um, the pressure is is lower. So when we get low pressures, that's the, that's the, the highest wind speeds. OK, so you can see that on this table here. Uh, tropical storms start at 74 miles an hour. Um, a Category 5 storm would be one of the biggest ones. That would be in excess of 155 miles an hour. And then the other thing to bear in mind is that the storm surge goes up as well. So a storm surge is a really high sea created by the wind and the low pressure, uh, blowing all that seawater onto the land. And that's what often kills a lot of people. Um, so those storm surges go up as you go up through the categories of storms as well. In terms of tasks, you can watch this video on Hurricane Dorian and think about what the, the features, the weather features are and the hazards. So we get really uh, torrential rainfall, high winds, the storm surge that I mentioned. Those are all very dangerous things. Um, describe where we get the tropical storms using the sentence starters. Um, there's a nice video here from the Met Office on why hurricanes form. So you can have a, a go at trying to produce a flow chart on how that happens and there's an answer there and then just a little review there um, describe the global distribution of tropical storms outline two conditions leading to them and can you draw a quick sketch of the structure okay all of that's available on um, on this worksheet okay so you can tap your tap your answers in and again there there's that writing frame for where the where the storms are why don't we get them in the UK? And then on the second page, um, there's the flow chart to explain how tropical storms are, are created. And then the last thing, little dad joke, uh, where do squirrels go in a hurricane? And the answer, all over the place. <laughs>